Members of the presidency, authorities, distinguished guests, I'm deeply humbled to receive a BBVA Foundation Frontiers of Knowledge Award for our work on climate change. My sincere thanks to you, to the selection committee for this honor. The spread of our hunter-gatherer ancestors across the earth contributed to a wave of extinction that made their lives harder. In some sense, perhaps only a few million people had overpopulated the world. 10,000 years ago, as the climate calmed down from the abrupt ice age jumps, those ancestors were able to begin settling down, learning to grow crops and build towns, get along with their neighbors, clean up after themselves, feeding their children, and leading to the billions of people who now share this wonderful planet. Much of that success depended on finding external sources of energy to plow and harvest, to transport and cook, to heat and cool, and so much more. External energy use for some of us is a hundred times more than the energy from our food, as if we each have a hundred energy serfs to do our bidding. Yet we remain primarily hunter-gatherers of this external energy. Our ancestors suffered deforestation and scarcity after burning trees and whales far faster than they grew back. We have trees and whales now because we switched to burning fossil trees and fossil algae. But we're burning these fossil fuels about a million times faster than nature saved them for us. So change must come. And the evidence is clear that burning most of the remaining fossil fuels before we switch to sustainably farming energy will cause climate changes that make life much harder for people and many other species. Fortunately, we're the first generation that knows how to build an economical, sustainable energy system to power everyone on the planet almost forever. And we have a window of opportunity before the climate changes from fossil fuel burning become large and highly damaging. We can change climate in ways that last longer than the 10,000 years we've been farmers. Or we can use solid science to find paths that help the economy and the environment. This BBVA Foundation Award, by honoring the scholarship of climate change, helps the public make those choices. I'm being recognized for the work of a community. I am deeply grateful to numerous colleagues, including Sridhar Anandakrishnan, Byron Perzak, Dave Pollard, Don Voigt, Todd Sowers, Peter Burkett, Jeff Haines Siles, and Erna Akugano, and so many more, to my mentors, to students and young researchers who've worked with us, and to my university, Penn State. I owe a tremendous amount to my family, especially our parents and daughters, and most of all to my dear wife, Cindy. I was in the field for our first wedding anniversary, and our fifth, and our ninth, and our tenth, and our twelfth, and a and Sunday was our 35th. Cindy, this one's for you. She's my support, my inspiration. So. <laughs> the storm that has been rattling these solid stone walls is food and drink. It, it's the life from our climate system we face a br very bright future if we use our knowledge of climate and energy wisely. Thank you.